aren't you guys sick and tired of how many racists there are into our geekdom community? I never thought that I would talk about this, but if you can think of a better word than racist, for a person that wants all the characters that they see in video gaming and entertainment to be of their race, and they freak out whenever a character that is of their race is being made white, how can you call that besides a racist? Like, they can't enjoy entertainment unless they're being antagonistic, because they will be incredibly upset when a character that is of their race is made white, and they even have a word for it, it's called whitewashing. But whenever a white person is upset that, you know, Ariel, which is a character from a fairy tale, it's got years of heritage, and it's made into a different race, they will attack the white person, right? Like, they're not upset about the company or anything, or, you know, the concept. No, they will actually attack the person on Twitter for doing it. And this is at the end, by the way, like, once a character is made black, they will attack artists that draw it differently. Like I have made a video where an artist drew Ariel as original and she was attacked heavily by the Twitter community. Uh, there have been cosplayers which weren't allowed to cosplay because we live in a medieval society and now you need to have the birthright in order to use emojis or cosplay. Like if you're, if you're not born in the correct right, you're not allowed, right? You're the peasantry. Um, and it's always Democrat supporters that do this. Like, I, I noticed overwhelmingly. Like, I don't see Republicans do the opposite. Like, I, I don't see people demanding that characters who are black, like Blade from Marvel, be made into a white character. And then they would attack people that draw it differently or they would attack cosplayers that, uh, you know, have a different skin color and try to cosplay as the character. I don't see that happen. Like, if you do, please let me know. But uh, this is the current year, right? Like, they will say, well, it happened back then. Yeah, but we live now. Yeah, but, like, we need reparations for the stuff that happened back then. Well, yeah, but, like, you, you race-swapped so many characters. When is it enough? Like, how, how many more do you need until we, you say, okay, you know what? Like, fine. Like, we, we reach the point. Once a character is established, it, it, it should be made canon, and it should be left alone. No more gender swapping, no more race swapping, no more this outrage-based marketing where you just anger people in order to create social media buzz because the company is too cheap to pay for marketing. So, so they want the outrage to market the product. But what, have I, what, what am I talking about? Why, why am I upset today? Well, let me show you. Here you have an artist uh, posting on Twitter, Isekai, make you the harem. I, I don't watch this. I don't know what it is, right? Like, I just know about the controversy. But basically, they're posting this picture uh, of what appeared to be an elf. And as you can see, the clothing that this elf is wearing makes the skin appear dark. Uh, but obviously, the, the elf is white. I mean, it's probably not even white. Like, Japanese people, when they draw anime, like, if you show this to a Japanese person, she would say that it's Japanese. It's an interesting social experiment when it comes to the anime. It's like a Rorschach test, like different people see different things. But anyway, right, like the, the, the idea is that the character w w is, is in black, okay? So no one would have a problem with this. I mean, it's a person drawing the character, you know, just fine. You don't like it, leave it alone. But but you, you do have like Democrat supporters on Twitter. And they made an edit on the character, right, in order to quote-unquote correctify it. Because again, like... It, it, if it's white, it ain't right. Like, this is their mentality. Again, like, how can I call them differently than racist it is beyond me. Like, if you do this on reverse, I, I don't think, like, people would call you racist. I think, like, you'd get fired. I think BlackRock would have to intervene. Uh, PayPal would deplatform you. Patreon would kick you off. Social media would call you a pariah. So, yeah. But, but like, the thing that I don't get is, like, you want to edit a character. That's fine. Like, I don't mind. But, like, why do you have to be like this? What? Why? What, where is this vindictiveness coming from because i start to think like you know a person like has different organs inside them like like they have a liver a kidney a heart i think these people have like a different organ where they store the malice there's like too much malice in these individuals in order for me to believe that it's just like stored as a normal human emotion like they must have a different organ just to store the malice because like you can't be this antagonistic 
you you can't be this vindictive. Like like this artist was attacked by so many people with bullshit like this, insulted, humiliated. It, it, it's it's just beyond the pale. Over a piece of art, okay? Like over a piece of art. And these are the individuals that go like, oh yes, our community, we need to do better. We need to be more empathetic. We need to be more tolerant. You know, and, and again. It's, it's not just about art. You get to see it with cosplaying as well. Like, there was um, a huge demand for representation from League of Legends. And League of Legends eventually, like, gives in to the calls. It's like, okay, well, here's a hero called Pike, right? He's black. I, I personally like Pike's story. I think it's a great character. But there was a, 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 a woman, right? Like, that, that's what I found the most interesting thing. Like, it was a woman that cosplayed as Pike. And, and the cosplay was so spot on. Like, I literally wouldn't be able to tell. There is a woman. Like, the cosplay was a pure work of art. She was kicked out of the convention for blackfacing. Like, th th this is ridiculous, right? Like, I wonder if the Nazis were this obsessed with race in art. The, the same way that the Twitter people do. Because I think, like, the Nazis definitely have competition now. I don't know who wins. Probably the Nazis. But, like, the, these people are, like, really getting close now. Really catching ground. I mean, look at this, right? We got, um... Starfire, which, like, if you ask me as a Romanian what race Starfire is, I would be alien. She's an orange girl. Like, she comes from outer space. That's her entire backstory. But no, apparently, this person claims that Starfire has been race swapped. Like, she was black. So, you now have community notes. Like, the community notes, which usually goes on politicians, but it goes to show just how much people have been fed up with this shit. To the point where you have now thousands of people, like, writing community notes to correct the nonsense that these individuals are spreading. And it's like the first image has been edited to make Starfire appear as a black woman. Starfire is an orange alien in the comics and was never intended to be black, as created by the creator. You know, like, honestly, these people, when I see them, I mute them. I mute them, I block them, usually a mute. I think it's worth like over a hundred downvotes on Twitter. But it's not why I mute them. I mute them because they have literally nothing important to add and they're racist. I don't want to associate with racists. I'm sorry. But it really is the thing. Like, you are bringing nothing besides division, besides outrage into a community that just wants to watch entertainment. I just want to see an orange alien girl fly around and do wholesome stuff. I don't want this bullshit, okay? Like, this bullshit doesn't interest me. If you're a black person and you want to cosplay as Starfire, go for it. I I'm not going to say, well, nah, I don't have the skin color. No, 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 no. If you want to draw Starfire as black, go for it. I don't care. You know, like, literally, like, if you want to draw her like that, that's fine. Um, I do care about canon and established lore, though. So, Starfire is orange. Like, if you make her white, if you make her Asian... I would probably not support and watch that movie simply because it's immersion breaking. Like, that's not the Starfire that I have in my head. Like, she's a character. She's not a human being. And th this is why she's like a trademark. She's like an IP. Right? Like, she's an established IP. She has to be this way. If you want to tell me that someone else comes from Starfire's planet and is white, then fine. Right? But, like, I wouldn't want to see a, a white Black Panther. I wouldn't want to see a white Blade. A female Blade would actually be interesting if she's hot. But even then, I would probably not want to see it. No, it's like, no, make another character that's a female Dampir. And she does vampire hunting. Why, why would you have to take Blade? Right, so, like, th this is my statement, okay? Like, it, it's not just the fact that these people support race and gender swapping that's the problem. The problem is that they harass cosplayers and they harass artists. And I don't enjoy that, you know? If you guys want to associate with that, that's fine. But in our community, we need to do better.